Hi, I'm David and I'm in our hot, steamy rainforest biome today and um, this is vanilla and I certainly like a nice bit of vanilla ice cream when I leave here. Um, very refreshing. But there's a lot more to it than just those little black specks you might see in your ice cream. The plant is actually an orchid and uh, it's the only orchid we actually use for flavouring and it comes from Mexico originally. And there, the Aztecs were using it as one of the first flavours in the original chocolate, as a drink as it was then. Um, and the Spanish brought that vanilla back to Spain and planted it in lots of other places like Mauritius, Indonesia, Madagascar, Reunion. And in those places though, it doesn't get on quite so well because there's a little bee, a little pollinator that lives in Mexico and that happily pollinates these plants. But that bee doesn't really like it in Mauritius, Madagascar reunion. It doesn't survive. They've tried introducing it. It doesn't work. So they have to be pollinated by hand. And some poor person has to go around every day because each flower has to be pollinated within 12 hours of opening. So twice a day perhaps. And they actually have to go and hold two parts of the flower together for 10 seconds on each flower. And a good pollinator can do upward of a thousand flowers in one day. What a job. Um, now when they've got to that stage, they then are left on, there's lovely big green pods like that, and they're left on the plant for six to nine months. Now after that time, they'll be going a little bit yellow like this one is starting to, and they'll be taken off, and they'll be dried and cured and sweated, and after about another five or six months, they'll look a little bit more like that. And that has, oh wow, that lovely vanilla taste and smell. And you can then use that in your lovely ice cream. So when you're next enjoying a lovely bit of vanilla ice cream, have a thought about how that amazing taste comes to be.